Our goal is to enforce the Education Code Section 51931B. This Education Code also includes education on pregnancy, family planning, and sexuality transmitted diseases. What do you know about health class? I know that health class involves like um, talking about CPR, the respiratory system, like the human body, and the most general thing is like is about sex, condoms, birth control, and yeah. Um, I think there should be a teacher, and because we take this um, course in sophomore year, but I think maybe we should take also take it like in like a junior year or senior year so we can know more about it because I'm pretty sure there's more things to know. Do you, do you talk to your parents about sets? No. I haven't they, we've never had a like, chat about it. Yeah. Um, will you feel comfortable like if they ever want to talk to you about it? I don't think I, I, don't think I would because it's kind of awkward, you know. Your dad just comes up to you he's like, hey, son, I'm going to talk to you about the birds and the bees. You know, that's, <laughs> that's a bit weird. What do you know about CPR? I know it's something with, with giving you air in the mouth and you push, <laughs> but that's, that's all I know. I know that um, when someone's drowning or they can't breathe, they have something stuck in their throat, you, you do CPR. I don't know how to do CPR, but I've seen it before. Okay. Well, you like to learn how to do it? Yeah, just in case something Why? happens and then like someone's life is in my hand, I could like help them. Do you think it's important to have a health class as a requirement for high school graduation? I believe so because it provides like an abundant amount of like knowledge for people that will be like useful like throughout their life. We have a health class that we take in our freshman year. Freshman year? What about for your um, junior year? What do you take? Um, we only take a health class in junior year. Uh, Hispanic culture. You know, we parents tend to not be very open to our kids about things like that, you know, like puberty, like sexually active, you know, it's very, um, like, taboo. Do you think it helps our community? Um, yeah, because, I mean, just looking at people unhealthy, it's not something that would be healthy in the community. If you have fit people that take care of their bodies, they stay in shape, um, I mean, it's, it's less stuff you have to worry about. I mean, you have, um, I mean, less people dying over illnesses, less people dying from sicknesses because they have healthy bodies and they stay in, they, I mean, they learn stuff from these health classes that yeah. hopefully keep them alive longer. This is an important issue because it helps the students from our community by decreasing teen pregnancy, drug abuse, and dropouts. This brings awareness to our community by understanding our surroundings a little bit more. We also did a petition to see how many people support our issue and we got up to 120 signatures. We got signatures from students, parents, and teachers. Say yes to health. Say yes to life.